While Israel's control of the mountain ridges of Judea and Samaria has constrained Middle East violence, enhancing U.S. economic and national security interests, proposed Palestinian state would add fuel to the Middle East fire, severely undermining U.S. interests. Is that a fact? In June 1967, Israel gained control over the topographically dominant mountain ridges of the Golan Heights, Judea and Samaria in a preemptive war against Egypt, Syria and Jordan, which dramatically enhanced Israel's posture of deterrence. Israel was transformed from a violence-inducing national security consumer to a violence-deterring national security producer, evolving into a unique force multiplier for the U.S., constraining the maneuverability of anti-U.S. rogue entities. The mountain ridges of Judea and Samaria, 3,000 feet above the Jordan Valley and 2,000 feet above the pre-1967 Israel, play a major role in determining the survival of Israel, but also the survival of the pro-U.S. Hashemite regime in Jordan and Jordan's neighbors in the Arabian Peninsula. During the October 1994 Israel-Jordan Peace Treaty Ceremony, top Jordanian military officers warned their Israeli counterparts that a Palestinian state west of the Jordan River would doom the pro-U.S. Hashemite regime east of the Jordan River, transforming Jordan into a non-controllable terrorist heaven, destabilizing the highly vulnerable pro-U.S. regimes of the oil-producing Arab Gulf states, as well as the pro-U.S. Egypt. In 2022, Iran's ayatollahs aim at toppling the Hashemite regime, extending their reach towards the Mediterranean, undermining the U.S. strategic posture in the Middle East, and intensifying the lethal threat to Israel and Saudi Arabia, which is Jordan's southern neighbor. Hence, the Iran-inspired tension along the Syrian-Jordanian border from the Golan Heights to Iraq, which features Iran-made drones and cyber attacks on Jordan, as well as increasing infiltration by Syrian-based Iran-supported terrorists, armed smugglers and drug traffickers. Jordan is unable to face the escalated Iranian threat on its own. It does not fully rely on an effective U.S. or Arab military deployment, but perceives Israel as its only proven ally which has systematically flexed its military muscle against Iran. Moreover, Israel's posture of deterrence emboldens Jordan in the face of the Iranian threat, as it did in prior threats posed to the Hashemite regime from the Syrian front. For instance, on September 18, 1970, the pro-Soviet Syria invaded the vulnerable pro-U.S. Jordan in an attempt to topple the Hashemite regime, which was entangled in a civil war against Palestinian terrorism. A successful invasion would generate an anti-U.S. domino scenario throughout the Arabian Peninsula at a time when the U.S. was heavily dependent upon Persian Gulf oil. However, the invasion was rolled back on September 23rd, largely due to Israel's reinforcing its military deployment, which emboldened Jordan and deterred Syria. Israel would not possess such a posture of deterrence if it were not in control of the Golan Heights and the mountain ridges of Judea and Samaria. Israel's posture of deterrence spared the U.S. the need to deploy its own troops in order to avoid an economic and national security setback. It denied the USSR a strategic bonanza. An Israeli retreat from the overpowering mountain ridges of Judea and Samaria back to the pre-1967 8 to 15 mile sliver along the Mediterranean 
would obliterate Israel's posture of deterrence and deny the US a major force multiplier. It would transform Jordan's western border with the proposed Palestinian state into the straw that would break the Hashemite back, converting Jordan into a platform of anti-US global Islamic terrorism in the mold of Libya, Yemen, Iraq and Syria intensifying the threat to all pro-US Arab regimes and the US homeland. The impact of the proposed Palestinian state on US interest is most credibly assessed against the backdrop of the Palestinian track record, the Palestinian subversion and terrorism against Egypt during the 1950s, Syria during the 1960s, Jordan in 1970, Lebanon during the 1970s and Kuwait in 1990. The close Palestinian ties with Nazi Germany, the USSR, the Muslim Brotherhood terrorists, European and Latin American terror organizations, Iran's Ayatollah, Saddam Hussein, North Korea, Cuba and Venezuela and the unprecedented Palestinian hate education, mosque incitement, terrorism glorification of homicide bombers and launching missiles at civilian targets in Jerusalem, Tel Aviv and throughout Israel. In response to unprecedented Israeli concessions of Oslo 1993 and Gaza disengagement of 2005. Just like other rogue elements, Palestinians have demonstrated an inclination to bite the hand that feeds them. The proposed Palestinian state would be a rogue entity, adding fuel to the Middle East fire adversely affecting the U.S. economy and national security, adding an anti-U.S. vote at the U.N. and enhancing Russia's, China's and Iran's strategic foothold in the critical intersection of Europe, Asia and Africa between the Mediterranean, the Red Sea, the Indian Ocean and the Persian Gulf. Since leopards don't change spots, only tactics, the proposed Palestinian state on the one hand and US values and national security interests on the other hand constitutes a self-destructive oxymoron. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification button for more videos. The next video will document the systematic failures of the US State Department's Middle East policy. For more information on U.S.-Israel ties and Middle East affairs, please write to yoramtex.gmail.com and or visit www.theettingerreport.com.